I welcome you all uh, for uh, module 3, lecture uh, 4. In this lecture, we will be discussing about uh, the uh, various uh, factors uh, favoring uh, the loose tolerances and uh, tight tolerances. Uh, we will have uh, the discussion on uh, uh, the selection of different kinds of uh, fits and uh, the assessment of uh, the fit and uh, tolerances and how we can calculate the tolerance uh, unit uh, value. Also, we will uh, discuss about the geometrical uh, tolerances. Now, uh, I am showing uh, a few engineering parts, the bearings uh, which uh, require uh, very fine uh, uh, finishes and uh, very tight uh, tolerances. We can see here uh, we have some uh, bearings, ball bearings with a very fine finish. So, it is very essential that uh, we have to control uh, the dimensions and uh, it is also necessary that uh, we have to control the features, geometric features. Uh, for example, uh, the roundness or uh, flatness, straightness etcetera, etcetera. So, that uh, they function uh, in a proper uh, way. Uh, here we have uh, fluid film uh, bearings uh, used in uh, hard uh, disk. We can see that they have very fine uh, finishes with very tight uh, tolerances, so that uh, they function uh, properly without uh, much uh, run out uh, problem. So, they require uh, very fine uh, IT grades like uh, IT 4, IT 5 etcetera, uh, so that uh, their functioning uh, will be proper. Now, this uh, table shows uh, the factors in favor of uh, a wide and uh, narrow tolerances, when we should go for uh, narrow tolerances, when we should go for uh, wider or loose uh, tolerances. The factors in favor of uh, loose tolerances are uh, uh, given below. They increase uh, the yield in uh, manufacturing and uh, there will be fewer uh, defects are uh, uh, produced and uh, fabrication of uh, toolings like uh, dies, jigs etcetera will be very easy. Uh, so, tools uh, will be, uh, uh, will, they will not be very costly because of uh, the loose uh, tolerances. We need not have to use very precise uh, ma machining uh, processes. So, the production cost of uh, the parts uh, will be less and uh, setup and uh, tooling adjustment uh, will be very easy if we have uh, the loose tolerances and then uh, fewer production operations uh, may be needed. We need not have to go for very uh, finer uh, or finishing processes like uh, lapping etcetera, etcetera. A simple uh, fine uh, uh, turning or rough grinding uh, will be enough and uh, the uh, less skilled and the lower cost uh, labor uh, can be used. If you select very tight tolerances, what happens is we have to go for uh, the lapping process, super finishing process, diamond turning process like that. So, if we, they, in such cases, uh, we have to use very skilled operators. If the tolerances are uh, wide, we can use uh, semi skilled uh, operators, so that uh, the labor cost uh, will be less. And also the machine maintenance uh, uh, will be reduced and uh, the need for inspection will also be uh, redu cost of inspection will be reduced. Uh, the reason is we can use uh, normal uh, measuring instruments uh, and uh, well, if we uh, uh, provide very tight tolerances, then we have to go for very fine uh, uh, precise uh, measuring uh, tools. So, investment on uh, in inspection cost will increase if we have tight uh, tolerances. And then uh, overall manufacturing cost is uh, reduced. The reason is uh, the uh, uh, not so precise machines can be used and semi skilled uh, operators can be used and uh, the inspection cost will reduce. So, due to this the overall uh, manufacturing cost uh, also will uh, reduce. And uh, what are the conditions uh, uh, favoring uh, tight tolerances? See when we provide very appropriate tight tolerances, the parts interchangeability is increased in assembly. That means, we can uh, randomly select uh, the mating parts and we can easily assemble. 
So, which may not be possible if data tolerances are very, very loose. And then fit and finish of the assembled product uh, will be better and uh, the aesthetic appeal will also be better if we have uh, tight tolerances. And then uh, production functionality and performance uh, will be improved and the products uh, produced will be durable and they will be reliable in uh, service. And uh, the serviceability of the product in the field uh, is uh, likely to improve due to increased uh, parts uh, interchangeable. That means, the uh, components uh, the, to be replaced uh, they are uh, readily available in the market uh, like uh, bearings, belts, etcetera, etcetera, taper pins, uh, different kinds of fasteners, they are readily available. So, we can purchase them and we can uh, uh, replace them. So, interchangeability aspect uh, will uh, improve and product uh, will be safer uh, to use. Now, uh, we will move to steps in uh, assessment of uh, limits and uh, fits. That means, how uh, we can assign the proper uh, uh, tolerances and how do we get the proper uh, fit and how to select the proper uh, fit. So, these are the steps uh, followed. Uh, for assessing the limits and fits. The selection of uh, uh, proper fits based on uh, functional uh, needs. That means, what is the basic intention of the product, where it is used, whether uh, running clearance is required or very tight clearance, uh, tight uh, fit is uh, required or very wide uh, toler tolerance and uh, uh, very wide uh, clearance is required. So, depending upon the uh, functionality, we have to select uh, proper uh, fits, whether we want clearance fit or uh, uh, transition fit or inter interference fit like that. So, it basically it depends upon the functional uh, needs, uh, what is the application of the mating uh, parts. And then, uh, uh, once we select uh, the proper fits based on functional uh, needs, uh, within that we have to select what type of uh, hole is required or what type of uh, shaft is uh, required. For example, if you select clearance uh, of fit, within that what is the hole uh, that whether we require H hole or uh, B hole or C hole. Similarly, when we move come to the shaft, what type of shaft is required, H shaft is required or M shaft is required or uh, uh, B shaft is required. So, that uh, we have to select. And then the selection of uh, tolerance uh, grades for uh, hole as well as for shaft also we have to properly select whether we require H 7 or H 8 or uh, if it is uh, the uh, very precise uh, operation is required, uh, uh, very proper uh, location is required, then uh, we may have to go for IT 4, IT 5 like that. And if it is uh, the for uh, the manufacturing of gauges used for inspection purpose, we may have to go for IT 2, IT 3 like that. So, depending upon uh, uh, the again uh, based upon application, we have to select proper uh, tolerance grades for hole as well as for shaft, which will decide uh, the amount of uh, the tolerance on the hole and shaft. And then we have to calculate the standard uh, tolerance uh, uh, I for uh, uh, a particular uh, combination. And then um, a calculation of limits on hole and shaft, that means once we know what is the type of uh, hole and what is the type of uh, 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 shaft and then what is the tolerance grade we are using and after finding uh, the ta standard tolerance uh, uh, value, then we can fix up what is the upper limit for the hole, what is the lower limit for the hole and similarly, what is the upper limit for uh, shaft and what is the lower limit for the shaft, those things uh, can be calculated. And then after once we find the limits for hole and uh, shaft, we can calculate what is the amount of uh, clearance, uh, what is the maximum amount of clearance, what is the minimum amount of clearance, if it is clearance fit and then we can, uh, if it is interference fit, what is the maximum interference, minimum interference and if it is the transition fit, what is the maximum interference, what is the minimum clearance, such things uh, can be calculated. And uh, uh, once we calculate all these things, so we can prepare the drawing, we can mention all the tolerance etcetera, etcetera and that drawing can be supplied to the manufacturing unit for uh, the uh, making of the products. Now, uh, uh, let us uh, discuss about uh, the uh, selection of uh, 
fits. Now, uh, uh, again it basically the uh, fit depends upon uh, what is the application, uh, whether uh, the uh, fit uh, we have to select for the pulleys and then uh, motor bearings and then uh, heavily loaded bearings and whether we are uh, uh, assigning the uh, fit and tolerance for lubricated uh, bearings or uh, uh, gear boxes, loaded shafts etcetera. Et ba based upon the application, uh, we can uh, select the, what is the type required, whether we can go for uh, large clearance, loose clearance and then normal running clearance, precision running clearance. So, once we fix up uh, the type of uh, fit that is needed, we, then we can go for uh, what is the uh, shaft. Uh, so, this is uh, basically whole basis uh, system. So, H capital H hole is uh, required. Now, we have to select the uh, shaft, what type of shaft is required, whether A shaft is required, B shaft. See, when we uh, the clearances are very large clearances are needed for general uh, usage, then we go for ABC shafts, which will provide very uh, large uh, clearances. And then uh, for uh, accurate uh, bearings, uh, we may have to go for uh, G uh, uh, shaft and then also uh, depending upon application, we have to properly select what is the tolerance uh, uh, grade, whether uh, 4 is required, 5 is required, 6 is required, 8 is required. So, like this, uh, uh, the such uh, tables uh, we can use for uh, selection of uh, uh, fits. And preferred uh, clearance fits are uh, mentioned here H11, C11, H9, D9. So, and then H7, H6 like this, uh, these are uh, preferred. So, once we fix up uh, the, uh, uh, the clear you know, what is the type of uh, shaft and uh, grade, then we can uh, select the appropriate uh, preferred, nearest uh, preferred uh, clearance uh, fit. Similarly, we have uh, tables available for uh, selection of uh, transition uh, fits again uh, based on the whole basis system. Again, we can see there are uh, many application are mentioned here, uh, very accurate location, couplings, gears and then precision joints, uh, forced uh, assembly uh, sometimes may be required and semi permanent uh, or tight fit assembly uh, uh, we may have to design. In such cases, uh, we have to appropriately select the uh, fit, uh, slight clearance uh, is required or uh, uh, very little clearance is required that we have to find. And then we have to appropriately select the shaft whether uh, K is required, M is required and N is required. And then we can say also select the IT grade. And then we have uh, the uh, preferred uh, transition fit. So, we can uh, uh, select uh, the uh, preferred uh, fit also. Similarly, we have uh, interference uh, fit. Again, uh, some applications are uh, mentioned here uh, for fixing uh, bushes, we may go for uh, interference fit, for tight uh, press fit and then valve seating and then permanent assemblies. So, in such cases, uh, we go for uh, interference uh, fit. For example, for permanent assembly uh, with H capital H uh, hole. Uh, we can use uh, this uh, T shaft or U shaft and uh, for valve settings, collars, etcetera, we can go for uh, S shaft with uh, tolerance grades uh, 5, 6 or uh, 7. And then again, uh, we have uh, the preferred uh, interference uh, fits. We can select uh, the uh, uh, type of fit uh, out of these preferred uh, interference uh, fits. Now, uh, after studying all these uh, basics, uh, we will see some uh, numerical uh, examples. I have taken uh, an example here. Uh, we follow all the steps, uh, the for example, selection of fit and calculation of uh, tolerance uh, uh, unit, etcetera, etcetera, so that uh, the basics uh, uh, can be understood uh, clearly. Now, the problem is that the diameter of the shaft is uh, uh, 70 millimeter that is uh, the basic size or the design size of uh, the shaft is uh, 70 millimeter and then tolerance grade is uh, H8 for uh, hole and F7 for uh, uh, shaft. So, H hole with IT8 grade is used and for shaft F shaft is used with IT7. 
So, the, the tolerance grades and type of hole they are already mentioned in the example. Now, what we have to do is we have to calculate uh, the standard tolerance unit and then uh, whether there is any fundamental deviation and then uh, what is the uh, upper limit and lower limit for shaft and uh, similarly what is the upper limit and lower limit for uh, hole that can be uh, calculated and finally, we can say whether uh, the type of fit obtained uh, is uh, clearance fit or interference uh, fit. Now, uh, we have to find fundamental deviation uh, tolerances for hole and shaft and limits of size for hole and shaft. Also, we have to mention what is the type of uh, fit and also we have to calculate maximum and minimum interference or uh, maximum and minimum uh, clearance depending upon fit uh, obtained we have to mention what is maximum interference or clearance and what is uh, maximum uh, uh, type of maximum amount of these uh, interferences and clearances. Now, we can uh, uh, the solution is uh, given here calculation of uh, standard uh, tolerance uh, unit. So, we can use uh, this uh, equation I is equal to 0.45 times cube root of uh, D plus 0 0.001 times uh, D. So, where uh, D is uh, diameter mean uh, diameter that means, uh, we know that uh, the basic size is uh, 70 millimeter and then where it falls in what uh, step uh, it falls that we have to see uh, that we can do using uh, table 7. Uh, the 70 mm it falls uh, in the range of uh, 50 to 80. So, now we can find uh, the mean uh, D that is cube root of uh, I am sorry square root of 50. Uh, times uh, 80. So, this will be equal to 63.25 uh, millimeter. This is the uh, uh, value of uh, mean uh, diameter. Now, we have to insert this uh, D in this equation to find uh, the tolerance uh, unit. So, the value of D is uh, uh, inserted here 0 0.45 times cube root of 63.25 plus 0 0.001 times 63.25. So, this will uh, give us a 1.865 micrometer or uh, 0 0.0018 uh, millimeter. Now, after finding this uh, I, we can find uh, uh, the tolerance values for uh, shaft and hole. Now, we are using uh, uh, F7 uh, shaft. So, tolerance uh, value for IT grade 7 is equal to 16 uh, i. So, this we can get from table number 5. So, now uh, the tolerance value for the shaft is equal to 16 times i, where i is equal to 0 0.0018 uh, millimeter. So, this will be equal to uh, 0 0.03 millimeter. Similarly, we can find uh, the tolerance value for uh, hole. So, we are using uh, H hole with IT grade 8. So, tolerance value for uh, IT 8 will be 25 i and then uh, uh, the i value we have already calculated that is uh, 0 0.0018 millimeter. So, tolerance for uh, shaft uh, I am sorry for tolerance for hole will be equal to 25 i uh, that will be equal to 0 0.046 uh, millimeter. Now, after finding uh, the tolerance uh, unit and uh, tolerance values for uh, hole and uh, shaft, we can find the fundamental uh, deviation. Since we are using the hole basis uh, system, the uh, fundamental that is H uh, hole we are using. So, fundamental deviation for uh, hole is uh, 0. Now, uh, we have to find uh, the fundamental deviation for uh, the shaft uh, F. Now, from the table number uh, 4, we can uh, get this equation uh, for getting the fundamental deviation for uh, F uh, shaft. So, for F shaft fundamental deviation that is upper deviation is equal to minus 5.5 .5 times d to the power of uh, 0.41. So, we have to feed the value of uh, d that is 63.25, then uh, we get fundamental deviation which is nothing but upper deviation as uh, 0 0.030 millimeter. So, once we find the fundamental deviation tolerance values, we can uh, fix up the uh, limits for shaft and uh, hole. 
Now, the higher limit for uh, shaft uh, is equal to the basic size of the shaft that is 70 millimeter uh, minus uh, fundamental uh, deviation. So, that is 0 0.03 millimeter. So, we get higher limit as 69.97 uh, millimeter. Uh, similarly, for uh, lower limit of the shaft, higher limit of shaft minus uh, tolerance that is higher limit the lower, higher limit is uh, 69.97 and the tolerance value for the shaft is 0 0.03. So, this will give us lower limit of 69.94 uh, millimeter. Similarly, for hole we can find uh, lower limit and uh, upper limit. So, in this case uh, lower limit for hole is 70 millimeter, uh, the reason is fundamental deviation is uh, 0. That means, lower limit uh, of uh, the hole will be equal to basic size that is 70 millimeter and higher limit can be uh, calculated by adding tolerance to the lower limit. So, we get uh, 70.04 uh, millimeter. Now, we can uh, show this uh, uh, graphically like this. We have uh, a 0 line, this is a 0 line. From this 0 line, we show all uh, the other uh, dimensions like uh, tolerance value, basic uh, size etcetera, etcetera. Now, we are using uh, H8 hole. So, this is uh, H8 and for uh, H hole, H8 hole we have uh, calculated uh, the tolerance uh, value. So, tolerance for uh, H hole is uh, 0 0.046 millimeter that is this uh, tolerance value is 0 0.046 0 0.046 millimeters and then coming to the uh, this is the lower uh, limit for uh, the hole which is equal to the basic size uh, 70 millimeter. Since the deviation is 0, the lower limit for the hole is equal to the basic uh, size and we have to add uh, uh, this, this uh, tolerance uh, value to this basic size to get the upper limit of uh, the hole. Uh, then upper limit of the hole is uh, 70.046. Millimeter. This is the upper limit. So, now, uh, we have uh, F7 uh, uh, shaft. So, this is uh, F7 shaft. With the tolerance uh, value of uh, tolerance value for F 7 shaft is uh, 30 microns. So, this is uh, 0 0.03 millimeter and also the fundamental uh, deviation that is upper deviation. So, upper size upper limit of the shaft is nearer uh, to the uh, 0 line. So, this is uh, upper deviation and we have calculated uh, the upper deviation for the shaft uh, that is uh, 0 0.03 millimeter. Now, uh, using uh, this tolerance value and this uh, upper deviation, we can fix up uh, the limits for uh, the uh, shaft. So, that uh, we have already found here, higher limit of uh, uh, the shaft, this is the higher limit h limit for uh, uh, shaft. So, higher limit is uh, 69.9 uh, and then lower limit uh, we get at this uh, point so this uh, gives us 
the lower uh, limit. That means, from the upper limit we have to deduct this uh, tolerance value then we obtain the lower limit. And uh, so, this is the maximum uh, uh, clearance. So, this gives us the maximum clearance that means, we get the maximum clearance when the shaft size is equal to the uh, lower uh, limit and hole size is equal to the maximum size. Then we get the maximum uh, clearance, clearance uh, maximum. So, what we have to do is we have to add this uh, tolerance for uh, shaft and then we have to add this fundamental deviation and then we have to add this tolerance for hole then we get uh, the maximum uh, clearance and this uh, 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 difference between uh, the minimum size of the hole and maximum size of the shaft will give us the minimum uh, clearance that is equal to 0 0.03 mm. Now, now the we can uh, compare uh, these values uh, the shaft limits and uh, maximum clearance, minimum clearance with uh, the table uh, 3. The basic uh, size is uh, uh, we are using uh, 70 millimeter. So, we get 70 millimeter between the 60 and 80 and then we have calculated the tolerance for uh, hole is uh, 46 uh, millimeter. So, we are using uh, H 8 uh, hole. So, we have uh, H 8 uh, hole here. So, now we can see here the this difference is uh, 46 uh, microns for uh, 60 millimeter basic size. Similarly, we have same uh, tolerance value for uh, 80 millimeter uh, basic size. So, for 70 millimeter basic size also the tolerance will be equal to, will be equal to 0.46 uh, millimeter, 0 0.046 millimeter. And uh, uh, similarly, for uh, shaft the tolerance value we can see here is uh, uh, this difference is uh, 30 microns. Similarly, for this uh, 80 millimeter uh, size the tolerance value is uh, uh, 30 micrometer 0 0.03 mm. So, for 70 also same uh, value will be there and then uh, we can also see the uh, maximum uh, clearance and minimum uh, clearance clearance all these are uh, clearance uh, fits you can see minimum clearance is 0 0.03 millimeter and maximum clearance is 0 0.106 uh, millimeter that we can observe he here minimum clearance is 0 0.03 millimeter and maximum clearance is 0 0.106 uh, millimeter like this uh, we can calculate uh, the values or if uh, ready tables are available, uh, we can uh, use the ready table to get uh, the to fix up the limits for hole and shaft and to get uh, the type of uh, fit. Now, we have a special case of uh, three lobe. Uh, now, in all the previous uh, examples what we studied is based upon the uh, hole uh, size and the shaft size, uh, we get a particular uh, type of uh, fit. That means, if uh, shaft is smaller than the hole, we get clearance fit. If the shaft is uh, greater than the hole, then we get uh, the uh, interference fit and sometimes we get transition uh, fit depending upon uh, the actual size of uh, the hole and shaft if the tolerance zones are uh, overlapping. Now, uh, this uh, uh, fit can be calculated by uh, measuring the actual sizes of uh, hole and shaft or if we know the tolerance zone for hole and shaft we can uh, uh, we will come to know whether uh, we get at, uh, clearance fit or interference fit. But uh, sometimes what happens is uh, the shaft uh, will not be uh, circular that means, uh, we may get some lobes uh, like this. So, this happens uh, normally in uh, centralized uh, grinding wherein we have a supporting uh, uh, roll and then we have the work piece and then we have a rest a blade to 
uh, keep the work pieces and then we have the grinding uh, wheel. So, if uh, the uh, work piece setting is not proper or the blade height is not uh, set properly, then uh, there are chances that we may get uh, the some errors like this, we may get lobed uh, uh, shafts. Now, if we measure this uh, diameter using a micrometer that means two point contact method, everywhere it gives the uh, same uh, value. It, so, micrometer uh, measurement will not give us uh, whether there is any lobing or not. If it is uh, uh, elliptical shape, it gives uh, the difference uh, we can find, find the max, uh, this is uh, the minimum diameter and maximum diameter. Then we can uh, find that if there is any difference, we can find that there is lobe, uh, globality is there. But for three lobe, uh, the micrometer uh, measurement will not uh, indicate whether there is any three lobe or not. So, we just uh, measure the diameter and uh, we uh, measure the diameter of the hole and then we try to uh, we calculate the uh, type of uh, fit. What happens is, say we have uh, a diameter of uh, hole is say 20.02 millimeter, this is the diameter of the hole and then we have uh, micrometer measurement gives that uh, the diameter of uh, shaft is uh, say 20.030 uh, millimeter. So, this is the diameter of the shaft obtained by a micrometer. Then uh, what we can conclude is uh, the diameter of the shaft is greater than the diameter of the hole. So, immediately we say that uh, the fit uh, type of fit what we are going to get is interference fit. But in actual practice, when we try to insert this uh, three lobed uh, shaft into the hole, it will enter. So, how this is possible? See now, if we try to insert this, uh, so this is uh, the center of the uh, hole O1 and then this is center of the shaft uh, O2. Now, when uh, both uh, the centers coincide, then the, peak, the situation will be like this. That means, O2 is coinciding with uh, O1, then uh, there will be interference. But in actual practice, what happens is, we have this uh, circle with uh, O1 center and when we try to insert this, it, the, now you can see that there is some uh, clearance. So, what happens is this shaft will move down and then it will enter into the hole. So, situation will be like this and O2 will be somewhere here. So, actually we get uh, instead of getting the interference fit as per the measurement, we get uh, the clearance fit uh, uh, in actual practice. So, we should be careful. Uh, uh, in fixing, in uh, getting uh, the fits. Uh, that means, mere uh, dimensional measurement of uh, the or the specification of uh, uh, dimensional tolerance for hole and shaft is not enough. We have to uh, specify the geometrical uh, tolerance uh, also. So, what is the amount of error that can be allowed on uh, the straightness or flatness or roundness or cylindricity. So, geometrical uh, tolerance is also very, very important to get a proper uh, type of fit and uh, for, for proper uh, functioning. So, now uh, we will uh, have a discussion on uh, geometrical uh, tolerance. Now, you can see here uh, the straightness of an edge, say we have uh, a line like this. So, we have a, we have a line like this, but in actual practice when we measure it may be like this. So, it will vary the points uh, will vary. Of course, this gap will be very small, it will be in terms of few microns. So, now it is very difficult to uh, machine a perfect uh, straight uh, edge. So, we have to allow some uh, a tolerance for the straightness 
and uh, that we can uh, do by specifying uh, what is the gap between these two lines say it may be some uh, like uh, 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.02 millimeter like that depending upon the application. So, straightness is also specified on the drawings. So, it is uh, to control straightness of a line or uh, axis or a surface. So, basically it is gap between uh, two parallel straight lines in a plane containing the considered line. That means, the line may be like this uh, and what is the maximum deviation on the straightness that is allowed. So, that is uh, mentioned like uh, 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.02 etcetera. So, now uh, the symbol used uh, uh, for specifying the say we have a cylinder like this and we will be having so many generators and we want the straightness of this should not exceed uh, say 0 0.03. So, we have to specify like this. So, straightness symbol is uh, a short line and then we have to specify what is the value whether it is 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.02 millimeter. So, that value this is tolerance value and this is the feature straightness this is for straightness surface. like this we specify the straightness. Similarly, we can specify the uh, uh, flatness say we have a, uh, a surface like this for example, the guide way of uh, lathe or any machine tool and it should be flat it, it is necessary that it should be straight as well as it should be flat so that we can uh, specify using uh, this uh, symbol flatness symbol like this. So, we have to specify the what is the feature flatness in this case and then we have to give what is the value whether it is 0 0.02 millimeter or 0 0.01 millimeter like that. So, this is how we specify the flatness. It is basically to control the surface uh, flatness and it is area between two planes. So, we have two planes here and the uh, surface in question. So, this is the surface in question all uh, there are many high points and low points on the surface. All the high points and low points should be contained within these two uh, planes which are separated by the given uh, tolerance value in this case 0 0.02 millimeter. Now, similarly we can uh, uh, we, we specify the roundness what is the roundness uh, that is allowed it is basically to control circularity error uh, in the plane in which it uh, lays and then uh, how it is specified we use uh, two concentric uh, circles. So, that area between two concentric circles uh, gives us uh, the roundness that means, so we have a shaft uh, a bit uh, which is necessary that it should be uh, round, but in practice uh, there will be some uh, variations low points and high points will be there. All the low points and low high points on that particular uh, uh, round part should be should lay within uh, uh, these two circles. So, this uh, value is mentioned what is the amount of uh, tolerance that is uh, allowed whether it is uh, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 like that, that uh, uh, value is uh, mentioned and uh, we specify the roundness uh, like this. We use that uh, symbol and then we give the value. So, this is how we specify the roundness. Now, we will move to the perpendicularity or uh, sometimes it is necessary that uh, the two uh, lines or two axes or uh, two surfaces uh, should be perpendicular to each other. Okay. There will be a datum surface and then there will be a working surface. So, that uh, angle between uh, this uh, working surface and this uh, datum surface should be 90 degree. So, that is known as uh, perpendicularity. Now, how it is specified? Uh, say we have uh, an angle plate uh, like this and this is the datum uh, surface. So, it is shown uh, like this say A surface A 
So, this is the datum and then uh, we have to specify the tolerance for the perpendicularity. So, we what we do is we draw a line parallel to this surface and then we mention what is the amount of uh, perpendicularity error that is allowed. So, for example, 0 0.01 uh, millimeter that means any point on this particular surface uh, should lay within these uh, two uh, planes. The surface can be like this or it can be like this or it can be some uh, rough uh, surface uh, like this. All points should lay within these two parallel lines. So, the uh, high points, low points uh, can be like this so, with reference to this uh, A. And then uh, cylindricity is also uh, important. Uh, now, uh, say we have uh, uh, the symbol for cylindricity is a circle with two parallel lines. So, this uh, cylindricity is to be controlled in uh, many uh, engineering uh, applications. So, uh, this uh, symbol is used to control uh, roundness, straightness and uh, parallelism of the cylinder. It is the annular space between two ax coaxial uh, cylinders. So, annular space between two coaxial uh, cylinders. We have two cylinders and uh, separated by some distance. This is the tolerance uh, value, so, maybe 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.02 millimeter, something like that. Now, all the points, high points and low points on uh, the complete uh, surface of the cylinder should lay within these two. Uh, circles and uh, the shape can be like this may be a taper or it may be taper in the other direction or it can be some uh, uh, bell shaped double bell shaped or it can be uh, drum shape any shape within the, all the variations should be within this uh, allowable uh, tolerance. Now, how this is uh, specified where so we have a cylinder like this and then uh, the we mention what is the feature in this case uh, it is cylindricity and then we mention what is the value in millimeter. So, this is how we specify the cylindricity that means you take any generator any generator or any circle all the values all the high points and low points should lay within this uh, uh, range. And then uh, we have a profile of a line say we have a workpiece like this okay, and then we have a profile uh, like this some radius is there. So, now we have to control uh, this uh, profile uh, variations for that we have to draw we use this uh, symbol. The meaning is so there will be two arcs, parallel arcs separated by some distance and then uh, what is the tolerance is uh, given. That means, all the lines on the profile on the high points and low points on the profile should uh, lay within these two arcs separated by the tolerance uh, amount in mm. So, that is the uh, profile of a line. Similarly, the angularity sometimes we have to maintain the angle between two surfaces or two lines or two axes and angle is other than 90 degree. If it is 90 degree then we say it is perpendicularity other than 90 we say angularity. So, uh, say we have a part uh, like this and then this is the working surface uh, this angle is to be controlled with reference to this uh, uh, datum uh, surface. So, what we do we draw another uh, line parallel line parallel to this and then all the high points and uh, uh, low points on this particular surface uh, should lay within this uh, tolerance that is allowed. It can be uh, 0 0.01 or point depending upon application you can specify what is the uh, deviation from uh, angularity. And similarly, we have uh, the symbol for uh, parallelism. Say we have a, a work piece uh, like this, and then uh, this uh, top uh, surface should be parallel to this uh, datum. Datum is uh, uh, 
uh, shown like this. So, this is the datum say A, A surface is a datum and all the points on this particular uh, uh, surface or line should lay within uh, uh, these two lines which are separated or uh, surfaces separated by the given uh, amount of tolerance. For example, 0 0.01 mm, high points and low points all should lay within these two lines or two uh, planes. Now, how uh, this is uh, designated? So, it is uh, uh, shown like this, we have to use uh, the parallelism uh, symbol and then we have to give the value, what is the tolerance that is allowed and then we have to specify datum with reference to which plane they should be parallel. So, that reference uh, or datum surface also we have to specify. And then uh, uh, we have another feature concentricity, say we have two uh, uh, steps, diameter uh, steps here, like as shown here and then uh, the axis of uh, this particular part uh, should be concentric with uh, the axis of the other uh, part. So, and if there is any deviation then uh, what is the amount of uh, deviation okay, that uh, is indicated by using uh, two circles concentric uh, uh, circles and uh, that is uh, specified uh, like this. So, we have uh, this is the reference datum say this is uh, A surface A okay. and then this axis should be parallel to this or concentric with this within uh, the uh, certain uh, tolerance. So, we specify like this, this is the symbol feature symbol for uh, concentricity and then we have to specify what is the tolerance and then we have to specify uh, with reference to which reference or datum. So, like this we specify the concentricity and then similarly uh, profile of a surface, sometimes uh, we need to uh, control the profile of a surface. So, in that case what we do is we use uh, this particular uh, symbol, the meaning of this is the we have two surfaces, two surfaces uh, like this separated by uh, the given uh, tolerance amount for example, 0 0.01 millimeter. Okay. All the points on the profile surface should lay within the, these two surfaces separated by the given amount of uh, tolerance. So, now how to specify the uh, profile tolerance is uh, shown here. We have to use this symbol and then we have to mention what is the uh, de deviation that is allowed. Now, in this uh, lecture, we discussed about uh, the various uh, aspects like selection of fits, calculation of tolerance uh, unit uh, uh, value and then what are the factors favoring loose tolerances and tight tolerances. We also discussed uh, about uh, the various uh, geometrical tolerances for uh, geometrical uh, features. In the next class, we will be discussing about uh, the various positional uh, tolerances, how to specify positional tolerance and then we will also see some uh, numerical uh, problems. Yeah.